Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply my lace front wigs, and this is going to be an easy, quick, beginner-friendly tutorial on how to apply a lace front wig, how to lay your foundation underneath, so what I do to my natural hair underneath, as well as how I secure down the wig and how I lay the front part of the wig, get that hairline, and get those baby hairs. I'm also not going to be using any tape or glue in this tutorial. I'm just going to be using the got-to-be glued hair gel gel as my adhesive. All right guys, so I am starting off with freshly washed hair. It was damp and I was trying to leave it damp, but I was doing my makeup and everything and it kind of just started to air dry on its own. So I am going to have to spray it down with some water just to mimic that same effect as it would be if I just got out of the shower because typically to start off with whenever I'm putting a wig on, I typically like to take a shower first, wet my hair down, or if I need to fully wash my hair, I'll do that too. Sometimes Sometimes I just do a co-wash. It makes a huge difference for me to actually start off with damp hair or wet hair. It gives me a much flatter foundation in the end. So anybody with long hair or thick hair, definitely start off with wet hair. So you guys can kind of see how long my hair is. My hair is not really that thick anymore. I mean, I would say it's like a medium density or something like that. It's not super, super thick. It used to be when I was a kid, but it is getting pretty long now. I did get a trim recently, but it's still, pretty long like down to my boob so I still have quite a bit of hair to fit up underneath my wig and try to get that flat look with my wig so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by just using a spray bottle with just plain water in it and just like I said start spraying my hair so that I can get that super damp effect as if I just got out of the shower. All right, so here's my hair all damp. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just apply some leave-in conditioner to my hair because I do have curly hair and my hair is kind of dry and it's been kind of damaged from all the dye and stuff like that. I definitely wanna make sure that I'm putting something on my hair to help moisturize it underneath my wig. I know some people like to put oils on their hair and stuff like that, certain oils on your scalp, certain edge treatments and different stuff that you can put in your hair just so that your hair is getting some love while it's underneath your wig so just use whatever favorite leave-in conditioner or oils that you typically use on your natural hair this leave-in conditioner that I'm using is the design essentials natural almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner and again this kind of depends on your hair texture and your normal natural hair routine however you tend to detangle your hair just do it your way so now my hair is all detangled it's damp it's got the leave-in conditioner in it now now it's time to lay my foundation for my wig. Your foundation is very, very important. This is what's going to ensure that your wig lays flat. If your wig cannot lay flat, it's never gonna look natural. So I have a certain way that I like to do it that's just easiest for me and works really well for the length of my hair and my hair type. Depending on your hair type, this might not necessarily work the best for you, but another alternative is to just do straight back cornrows. I'm not good at cornrowing, especially doing little tiny ones especially doing them on my own head so I have devised this other way of doing it so hopefully it works for some of you guys out there but I know unfortunately it's not gonna work for everyone so all I do is part my hair down the middle and it really doesn't even need to be perfect and then especially going down the back I know it's not gonna be perfect but just to split it in half and all I do is brush my hair down and smooth it down to either side because I'm just gonna do two low braids so here is the star of the show this is gonna be the star of the show in terms of actually laying down the frontal part of the wig but I'm also going to use a little bit of it right now this is the got to be extra glued invincible styling gel got to be glued it's all the rage this season when it comes to wigs and everything like that it's just a very very strong hold hair gel that basically acts like a glue but it's extremely like washable it just washes right out with warm water so it doesn't really like damage your hair or damage your skin or anything like that so I'm just taking a tiny bit of it and I'm putting putting that on my edges just to slick down all these baby hairs because I don't want them flying everywhere. I need my hair to be super secure and super slicked back. So I'm just gonna take this wave brush and really slick it back behind my ear and make sure I get all my little baby hairs slicked back. And then also smooth down the top part down into a low ponytail or pigtail. And then sometimes I like to go in with a brush like this, like the really hard teasing brush and like really 
smooth this top part down because I want this to be as flat to my head as possible. That is what's gonna help my wig lay flat. And to me, it works better than cornrows because anytime you do braids on the top of your hair, you're gonna have those lumps from the braids. And if you do a whole bunch of braids, it helps it when there's more braids because they're smaller, so they're flatter and they're not as bulky. But even still, I feel like it's still a little bit bumpy. So with doing this, if you can get your hair slicked down, then it's completely flat and smooth. And then I don't use any hair tie or anything right here because that's just gonna add extra bulk to it I don't need it I'm just gonna go straight into braiding it normally so just separating it into three pieces down here and then I'm just gonna start braiding right behind my ear really really tight just to make sure the top stays super flat so I'm just gonna really tighten this first little part of the braid and get it as flat as possible and then just keep doing it super tight and just get like the smallest braid I can get so that I don't have a lot of extra bulk and again doing this on wet hair helps it be a smaller more condensed braid and then on the end of the braid I'm just gonna take some of these little tiny little tiny rubber bands and secure it at the bottom so you can see how flat and smooth that is. And then of course I'm just going to repeat the same exact thing for the other side. Okay, so these are the braids done. I feel like, who is it? Wednesday Adams or whatever, the girl from the Adams family. <laughs> All right, so on to the actual wig that I'm going to be putting on today. This wig is from my first wig and I'm gonna show you guys all the details and stuff. But first, I just wanted to show you guys that I am going to be putting this wig on straight out of the box. No funny business, no secrets, no extra stuff that I did behind the scenes before I started filming this video to make it look better. Like I really wanted to show you guys, it's still in the DHL mailer, so I'm about to open it for the first time right now. So this is the box. This wig is from myfirstwig.com. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I love working with this company. It is actually the sister company of rpgshow.com who I also started working with way back when. I love all their wigs, super high quality, never have any problems with them. And they're constantly innovating and um, kind of updating and improving their wigs and their wig styles that they offer. So this is actually a little bit of an update. I actually have my own wig collection with my first wig. It's called the Raven Elise Signature Styles and they came out last year or two years ago now. So a bunch of you already have them and already have been rocking the original ones, but they did make a bit of an update to the wig. So I wanted to show you guys that update and also just use this wig to show you guys how I do the whole process. But yes, this is my first time opening the box right here on camera just so I can show you guys that you don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff to these wigs in order to put them on so I have two signature styles on my first wig right now they're both like long black bobs my first wig is a website that specializes in beginner wigs or more basic simple everyday styles so they all kind of come in that natural black color so all the my first wig wigs come in these really cute little pink little tiny garment bags for your wig totally cute to keep your wig in here with the little zipper and then the wig itself will come to you in a hairnet they also give you the little piece of paper with all of your order information on it and they give you some wig caps okay so I just took the wig out of the hairnet this is the wavy version that comes to you with these little loose waves in it and I just took it out of the hairnet and slapped it on my mannequin head just so you could get a little look at it so this is fresh out of the box, didn't even run a brush through it or anything, but this is how it looks. Obviously it's a little frizzy and disheveled because it's fresh out of the box, but it's definitely really shiny, very soft, very bouncy. All the waves are still intact and definitely still wearable, but you just kind of have to put it on and style it a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys how the waves of the hair look when you literally just pull it fresh out of the box. And then this is the other one. This is the Raven Elise Signature Long Bob in the straight version. So if you don't want it to come pre-styled with the waves in it, you can just get the straight one. This one is a little bit bent up because it is supposed to be like bone straight, but it does get a little bit bent in the box. That's just, you know, what happens 
happens when you put a wig in a box but it's super easy to still just throw it on and run a flat iron over the ends just to kind of straighten those out but the rest of the hair is definitely really silky and soft you can see that luster that movement these wigs don't shed these wigs don't get dry like i really like the quality of the my first wigs they're really meant to hold up and be beginner friendly and be low maintenance and just be that everyday wig that you can wear so yeah these are my two wigs on myfirstwig.com i just wanted to kind of show them to you guys give you a little bit of a refresher if you didn't see them when they first came out but i would definitely recommend my first wig if it is going to be your first human hair lace wig that you're purchasing so today I'm going to show you guys how I put on the wavy one of course it would be the same thing for either one but I just want to wear the wavy one today and actually before we go any further myfirstwig.com is actually having a Black Friday sale right now so now is the time to go ahead and purchase your nice human hair lace wigs if you haven't gotten yours already I know sometimes they can be a big investment so any discount that you can get is always good and right now if you use the code black friday you can get 30 dollars off of your purchase plus a free wig kit which comes with all types of little accessories and trinkets and super helpful little tools to use when you're applying your wig so it's a really really good discount and a really good little freebie that you get so definitely now is the time to go ahead and make your purchase get your hair cute before the holidays girls you could be cute on christmas i would highly highly recommend it anyway moving on like i said i do use these wig caps that they give you and this is how I apply my wig cap. So because I have these long braids hanging down, they're going to need to be tucked up in the back of my hair, but I'm not just going to ball them up. I'm not going to create a big old braided bun in the back of my hair because that's going to give me a weird lump back here. I want to lay these braids in the back of my hair as flat as possible. So it's kind of like one swoop of putting the cap on and putting the braids in place because I don't want to use any bobby pins or anything like that to actually hold the braids in place for me because that just adds extra bulk and the bobby pins get all like, I don't know, it's uncomfortable. So I try to do it just in one swoop. So basically I start from the front of my head and I get it on my hairline and then I start going back and then I'm kind of holding the stocking cap out and I'm basically going to take my braids and cross them over and then I'm going to kind of bend them and cross them back again like this so it's a double cross and then I'm going to start tucking them into the stocking cap and try to keep everything flat to my head so that helps prevent it from being just like a huge knot in the back of my head it still has a little bit of bulk there because I mean I got hair under there I can't completely make it disappear but it's a lot flatter than it would be and also because my hair is still damp it helps it to actually like squish down so like I said this got to be glued gel is the star of the show this is the main adhesive that I use to apply my wig but one thing I have to do because I already did my makeup today I have to remove my makeup that's around my hairline because this stuff does not really like to stick to makeup you're not going to get a clean application trying to put it on on top of makeup and I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and wipe off the makeup that's just about one centimeter in front of my hairline all the way down to my ear normally i wouldn't have to do this because i would just do my makeup after putting on my wig and then even beyond that i'm actually going to take some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad this is another major key to really really clean your skin off i do this every time now because normally like i said i don't have makeup on but i will take the alcohol and rub that on my hairline as well this is a really really good tip i can't remember where i saw this from but a lot of professionals professionals do this to really ensure that the adhesive is going to stick so again if you're having trouble getting your wigs to stick you might need to clean it with alcohol first and I'm going to just use my finger to start applying small amounts of this at a time right to my hairline where I just cleaned it trying not to really get it on my actual hair but just literally right in front of it and obviously not going too far forward you don't need glue all over your whole forehead but just like that little centimeter in front of my hairline, I'm just painting this on from ear to ear. So going all the way down to my sideburns. And obviously if it does get in your hair, it's completely fine because this is hair gel, you know, it's completely safe for your hair and for your edges. But you want to try and avoid it just so that if your wig gets stuck to your edges, 
when you're removing it you don't want to risk pulling any of your edges out still but typically you don't have to worry about that because you use warm water to remove this and it completely dissolves it and unsticks it so nothing should be pulled out so this gel really needs to dry a little bit and get a little bit tacky before you start actually trying to put the wig on top so the way i do that is i use a blow dryer but i use it on the cool setting only so if you don't have a blow dryer with the cool setting then just let it air dry it'll take a few minutes but use the cool setting on your blow dryer if it gets too dry it won't do anything at all so i got that started a little bit with my blow dryer while i continue to wait for that to get tacky i'm going to cut the lace off of this wig there's also lace on the nape of the neck so if you did want to wear this hair in a ponytail you kind of get that little baby hair action going on back here and you'll notice that I'm taking this wig straight out of the box and cutting off the excess lace without doing anything to the actual hairline because these wigs now come with a pre-plucked kind of pre-customized pre-thinned out hairline I talked about this in one of my other videos but my first wig and RPG show is now offering this where you're not gonna have to sit there and pluck your wigs anymore it already comes pre-plucked and it already basically looks completely natural and basically you don't have to do anything to the hairline of this wig to get that baby hair action or anything like it comes done for you so it's a little hard to tell but if you guys can see right there the hairline already looks natural and it's already kind of thinned out in the front so really all you would have to do is pluck a few hairs to mimic your hairline shape but it's pretty much already done for you. And when I cut the lace off, I like to cut pretty, pretty close to where the actual hairs start. You don't want to be cutting into the hairs or anything, but cut it pretty close so that you don't have like a harsh line showing. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on from back to front, being careful not to actually touch the gel that I have on my hairline yet, because I want to make sure I have it on straight before I stick it. So in the back, I'm taking that little comb and digging it up into my my natural hair underneath the stocking cap to really secure it and then the two combs that are in the front is kind of optional if you want to dig it up under the stocking cap to really secure it you can but since we are gluing down the front you don't necessarily have to it just kind of depends on what's most comfortable for you I am gonna go ahead and slide the combs in on either side so then of course you're just kind of placing down the hairline where you want it to be, which is going to be a tiny bit in front of your natural hairline, like just the tiniest bit in front. We are beyond the days of wearing your wig a tiny bit behind your hairline and trying to blend your own hairline into the wig. You don't need to do that with these wigs. Go ahead and be bold and put your wig a little bit in front of your hairline or basically kind of right on it where the gel is. So then to stick it down onto the gel, I just like to use a little rat tail comb like this and just kind of go in with the rat tail and start kind of like rubbing it down and even getting some of those baby hairs and I'm actually going to cut some of these there always is going to be a little bit of customization necessary so just any part like it's going to be different for everyone but just any part that looks a bit off or too thick or too dense on you you can go ahead and cut it or pluck it out so it's kind of a combination of gluing the actual lace down to your skin using the gel and I know this looks crazy right now. And then also kind of sticking the baby hairs down to your skin a little bit too with the gel. And then just lift this hair back, stick the rat tail and rub the lace. You just wanna really rub it down and stick it down. Especially on these sideburn parts right here, I like to like really like rub down the sideburns and make sure they're getting into that gel underneath and make sure they're sticking to my skin because that's where it tends to try to want to lift up right there near your ear and from here it's kind of just up to you how much you want to pluck any extra hairs or cut the baby hairs or do whatever and just to make sure it's stuck down i'm going to take my blow dryer again on the cool setting and help everything dry and stick into place 
and we're done just kidding i know this looks hella crazy right now we are not done the first time you put on your wig is always going to take the longest because that's when you're customizing it that's when you're styling it that's when you're putting all the tricks onto the wig the first go around but then once you take it off and put it on the second time it always goes much faster because like half the work is already done so some of my natural hair is showing through the lace right here you can see where the wig cap starts and then you know it looks like scalp back there but my dark hair is showing through right here which is making it look really weird so I am gonna go in and put some makeup on to cover that as well as I need to blend my makeup with where I took it off to apply the wig and I don't like the way that this wig is parted on me right now it's kind of like got this zigzag part and it's kind of creating this weird thing at the top so I am gonna go ahead and first fix up the part to be how I want it to be But typically wigs are pretty stubborn when it comes to switching up the part like it wants to just flop back over to the other side so sometimes you have to take a little bit of water and spritz it down and kind of retrain the wig to go in the direction you want it to go so then I just use my blow dryer on hot this time. There's a bunch of different ways to handle this problem of it being dark right here, but just slapping on some makeup on top is the easiest way for me. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this cream foundation, or you could use concealer, or you can even use powder foundation, and just on a little flat makeup brush like this, and just take a little, little bit and apply it to my part, just to kind of blend this line of demarcation where you can see my stocking cap. Alright, so this is my little baby hair design for today on this side that's going to be showing. This side is not going to be showing with this wig because it has such a heavy bang, so I don't have to worry about that. But let me tell you that my hairline is secure right now. I have a comb in the back and the drawstring keeping it super tight around the back. I have two combs on either side keeping it in place and it's completely glued down all around the whole entire front. So this wig is not going anywhere that I don't want wanted to go I can flip my hair back and forth I can dance I can party I can jump up and down I can do a backflip I can go run a marathon this wig is not going anywhere and having said that you could also make this wig last for multiple days or make this install last for multiple days the wig itself is gonna last you for years if you take care of it but with doing what I just did you could make it last for multiple days by sleeping with it all tied up and just being really really careful when you wash your face not to get water on the hairline because this is water soluble so if you get water on it it will start to loosen up and come off and it's actually a good thing because like I said it protects your edges and it makes it really easy to come off without ripping out your edges but yes you can sleep with this you can make it last for a few days just depending on what you're doing and how much you sweat and stuff like that I guess but yeah everything is nice and secure it's not going anywhere I could put my hair up I could pull this all up like it's it's not going anywhere. And I was gonna say that the next thing that I would do is to actually style the hair and maybe use some dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo on my wigs whenever they're too shiny or too shiny in certain places because this will actually really dull it down. It's like setting powder for your hair. Think of it that way. Um, but this wig, I don't really feel like needs it as much. And then also I was gonna say you can use some serum or some oils. This is the Chi Silk Infusion like oily serum that you can use on the hair if it does start getting dry or if you're going to be using heat on the wig but I don't really even think I need to use my flat iron or my curling iron on this wig yeah it's a little messy and I just pulled it straight out of the box but I kind of like the way that the waves are already looking on their own so yeah guys this is pretty much the finished product of how I lay my wigs these days I pretty much do the same exact routine for all of my different types of wigs and of course it comes out a little bit differently every time 
time. I'm by no means a professional. This is just kind of the easiest way and the simplest way that I can do it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some way. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to check out the My First Wig Black Friday sale. Remember that I have a coupon code down below for you guys. And I also have the links to this wig and the straight version of this wig down below. So definitely check those out. Make sure you get your human hair lace wigs in time for the holidays. But other than that, that's everything I have for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.